Hi, and welcome to another session of Mastering Google, SEO for 2013 and moving into 2014. My name is Josh Brzezinski, and I'll be presenting today. Today we have a great experiment on Penguin 2.0. Do you remember the Orange Platoon Cucumber experiment? Well, that experiment's still around, and it shows some very interesting data about Penguin 2 and exactly what it's looking for and some good ways to beat it. Uh, so stay tuned for that. I'll be presenting that in a second. If you have any questions, if you want to know more about this experiment, by all means, you can contact me. My contact address should be on the screen. It's joshbrzezinski at gmail.com. So let's get to the experiment. Okay, so this experiment is called, What Does Penguin 2.0 Look For? The Return of the Orange Platoon Cucumber. You might remember the Orange Platoon Cucumber. It's not this Orange Platoon Cucumber. The Orange Platoon Cucumber experiment was done March 14th, 2013. Um, this is what the original sites in the experiment had done to them. Now there was a bunch of sites in the experiments, but this was these were the main ones. So this is what happened to the main sites. Um, there was three blogs that were made. Blogspot 3, uh, on page, it had a shorter article. It was not keyword stuffed, it was written naturally, it was well under 3%. It had a movie uh, inserted in the text and an image inserted in the text. Off page, it had spun text backlinks, which were fairly well spun, not 90%, but but pretty well spun, and all exact match anchor text of the same keyword. Blogspot 2 on page had a shorter article. It was not keyword stuffed. It had a very low keyword uh, density, and it had an image. Off page, it had all duplicated text. The backlink text was not spun at all, and had all exact match anchor text. The exact same ex exact match anchor text as Blogspot 3 and Blogspot 1, for that matter. And Blogspot 1 on page had a low quality article, very keyword stuffed, for anywhere from four to seven percent, and off page only exact match anchor text. There was no backlink page text at all. The only thing that was on the forum profile links, and these were all forum profile links for all three sites, was the exact match anchor text, which was the same for all of them. Orange platoon cucumber. They all have the same number of links and all the same exact match keyword. So. On May 7th, this is what the Orange Platoon Cucumber SERP looked like. And as you can see, this is, bef as is after the latest run of Panda, but before Penguin 2.0. So, as you can see, Orange Platoon Cucumber 3, Blogspot 3 is what I call it, was ranking number 1. Blogspot 2 was ranking number 3, and Blogspot 1 was ranking number 1. All these other sites, this one here, Orange Platoon Cucumber, um, uh, WordPress, Orange Platoon Cucumbers 3 WordPress, and number one WordPress, and the duplicate of it. These are all sites that I made as well, but they have no text, no content. They're just an empty blog set up with an exact match domain and no backlinks whatsoever. It's interesting to see that they rank there as well. But Blogspot 3, I think, is beating them, I think because it had better usage metrics, which I think I have some data that I can show. But as I say in my note, it would take far too long and too difficult to differentiate those signals, so I didn't bother making a video about it. But if you're interested in Panda and usage metrics, by all means contact me and I can try and share some of that data. Okay, just to show you that there's not any uh, uh, personalization or geolocation going on, this is a different IP address, still in the same city admittedly, but it's a different IP address hitting a data center with just the query and it's uh, two or three weeks later, it's May 21st. As you can see, things have shifted around a bit. That pesky SE nuke uh, is outranking once again. It's ranking number one here. Uh, and for the original Orange Platoon Cucumber experiment. But still, Blogspot 3 is ranking pretty high. Blogspot 2 is ranking a few spots under that, and Blogspot 1 is ranking under that. Okay, now, this is what the SERP looked like after Penguin 2 was released on May 23rd, just a few days later. You can see that they're all pushed down. Blogspot 3 is at second from last, Blogspot 2 is the very last, and Blogspot 1 is absolutely gone from the page 1 SERP. It is nowhere to be seen in the first few pages. So, they obviously had a minor bite from Penguin, but of course the question is, why? Why is this the case? As many, as many site owners probably say, why? So, here's the experiment parameters. We are tracking the relative difference between each blog. 
it is not really important how they're ranking. What's more important is how they're ranking relative to all the other sites because I know more or less what has been done to each site because they're all mine. So let's just go through again what they had all done to them. Blogspot 3 had the best spun backlinks, it had low keyword density on page, and it had all exact match anchors. It was hit the least hard. Blogspot 2 has totally duplicated backlink text, low keyword density on page, and it has an image, but no movie. And it too has all exact match anchors. And it was only one spot lower. However, Blogspot 1 had only exact match anchors, no backlink text whatsoever, just the anchor text. And other than the form, profile, data, name, date, you know, occasionally that, that pops in. But there's no content section, so to speak. It had the highest keyword density on page, around 4 to 7%, if you include uh, plurals. And only text on page, no images, no links. And it was hit hardest comparatively. It was right off of page 1. What about the other blocks? Well, the other exact match domain blocks, as you saw, they were not hit at all. They all went up. Um, this is not that surprising because they have no backlinks and no article on page, so there's absolutely nothing to derank them. If Penguin is an over-optimization penalty, they were drastically under-optimized. So I don't think they got a bonus for being under-optimized, I just think they weren't uh, eligible to be deranked by Penguin. So, Blogspot 1. It was hit the hardest by Penguin, it had the biggest comparative drop. It has only exact match anchors with no backlink text. It has the highest keyword density on page, as I said, 4-7% on Orange Platoon Cucumber or Cucumbers, same as backlinks. And only text on page. It has no image and no links. So before I get to my conclusions, I just want to remind you of a couple things. You say, well, what if it's just the forum profile links? What if Google's just finding forum profile links? Well, that can't be the case, or it doesn't look like it's the case, because all three blogs, all they have is forum profile links. If that was the issue, then they all would have been hit equally hard. Nor would they have bounced back as quickly, and, and quite frankly, they did. If you check the SERP now, you'll see that they bounced back. It can't be on-page quality either. For a number of reasons. One, multiple Google employees, both current and past, have already stated they don't track on-page quality for Penguin. Panda is their quality algorithm. And my previous experiment shows no correlation with page content ranking. In fact, Blogspot 3 was ranking lower than the rest of them for the longest time. There, there's no apparent boost just for having a movie and or image on your, in your text. However, there does appear to be a boost for good user metrics which I believe I can show for the bounce back after uh, May 23rd when they bounced back. I believe I can show that. Um, perhaps I'll make a video about it, but until such time, by all means, contact me and I can, sh I can share that data with you. Okay, so if that is the case, therefore the only difference for Penguin Left that I can see, because I made all these sites and I backlinked them all or didn't, so I know exactly what went into them all, and I have analytics installed on them all, so I can see the relative usage that's used on all of them, that there's no backlink text on Blogspot 1. Therefore, it has to have a higher percentage of exact match keyword slash anchor text over optimization overall, because there's no other text to differentiate against the, the anchor text. It has to have a higher percentage of keyword density, so to speak. Not only this, but it could possibly even be correlated with higher on-page over-optimization keyword uses. Remember, the keyword density for Orange Platoon Cucumber on Blogspot 1 is 7% or higher, which is much higher than the other two articles on Blogspot 2 or 3. Also, Blogspot 1 has no backlink text, as I said, so only exact match Orange Platoon Cucumber anchor text, so we'll have a higher percentage overall. And remember, Penguin was originally called the over-optimization algorithm. All other examples of sites that have been, all public examples of sites that have been hit by Penguin 2 have high exact match query anchor text as well, and some high on page exact match query anchor text. So even for Brandt, for example, ETS.org was hit by Penguin 2, SalvationArmy.org was hit by Penguin 2. You can check the Alexa rank for, for these sites because they're very popular sites and so they register for Alexa. 
And you can also check HAREFs if you don't have a link, uh, backlink tool for free to check their backlinks. You'll also notice when you check it, they've both recovered since Penguin 2. But they both have the same looking backlink profile, same as Blogspot 1. So if this is the case, it looks kind of like, and which is not surprising for Google, that they've made a kind of complex mathematical algorithm to, to compute the semantic latent index, or the entire threshold of your keywords that your page is about, by looking at your backlink pages and your on-page keywords. So for example, a good site here would have keywords telling you what the page is about, both on and off page. But there's some kind of threshold at some point where they say, all right, this is too much, and then it starts to kind of double back and hurt you. Instead of giving you a positive page rank, it seems to now start giving you negative page rank, which makes sense because once you delete the links or you for the pages the links are pointing to, or you disavow the links, Penguin goes away if you've got enough of them. So this could look like a minor Penguin hit here, where you're just a little bit over threshold, and you have too many keywords across your entire semantic index, either the backlinks and or the backlinks and the on-page, because in my previous Penguin experiments for Penguin 1, I found that it also had an on-page component. And I've seen plenty of sites since then, uh, doing multiple uh, site analyses for clients, that they also have high on-page over-optimization as well. Or you could have a major Penguin hit. We are well above threshold. And obviously, Penguin just hammers you. This could also be the reason why you see a minor and major penguin uh, algorithm. Uh, because some are just a little bit over threshold and maybe they have on-page problems or not. And some are way over threshold and or they have, coupled with that, on-page problems too. There is another way to look at this. You can think of it like this. This is more of a link diagram. You can see these ones here have a keyword match and a keyword match to whatever is over-optimized here. And so it's, it's some, beyond some point that is over threshold even though it has some, you know, 30% of links, but 60% of the links are over the optimization. I'm making up those numbers, this 30 to 60%. I'm not sure what the exact threshold is, but, you know, you could imagine something like this, and this site gets hit, whereas this site over here is fine because it has one match, right? But this, uh, it's an index page or the pages on the site, because Penguin 2 will hit any page on the site, according to Matt Cutts is not over-optimized, it's just optimized. It just has one keyword in the URL, no extra repetition in the title, no repetition in the meta keywords, no repetition in title attributes, no repetition in alt attributes, no repetition too many times on the page. You know, only once or twice mentioned. And this topic is an off-topic link, it's click here or something like that, and this, this link could be something totally different. And so these are the kind of sites that Penguin doesn't hit. So, if that's the case, or if we're fairly close, we can draw a number of conclusions from this and a number of takeaways so people can avoid being hit by the penguin algorithm. One, write for humans. You don't need to add extra keywords onto your page. Um, Google is very good at synonyms and knowing what a page is about these days and analyzing pages and analyzing the text on pages. You only need to add a few keywords here and there in the text and in the H1 and Google will pretty much know what the page is about. That makes sense because people have been over spamming the titles and the meta keywords and whatnot, so Google's trusting them less. The biggest signal, as I can tell right now for ranking in, uh, for a keyword, is in the URL, as many people know. And for me personally, I like to use the title of meta for uh, click-through rate. It's more like a billboard on the SERP and less for spamming keywords. Not only that, but I would try to avoid using too much exact match anchor text in your anchors pointing to your site. A lot of people have been saying this, but now we have some more solid data to show why and how Penguin hits that. So I would keep your backlinks looking as natural and donated by someone as possible. I repeat, you have to keep your backlinks looking as natural and donated by someone else as possible. So for example, a good link would be Great Site on Apples. It's a partial match if you're uh, trying to optimize for redapples.com. Not buy red apples, buy red apples, buy red apples. Tons and tons of buy red apples links or red apples links, even redapples.com links. Those are still exact match query links, even though it's in a URL. Not only this, but recently SMX Advanced that was just last week, June 11th or 12th, 
Studies there showed that anchor text doesn't really correlate to good rankings anymore. This means that Google is likely trusting anchor text less. The bottom line is this. Failure to reduce the overuse of keywords, either off-page and perhaps even on-page as well, increases your risk of getting hit by Penguin. The types of links are not the issue so far. The form profile link test for the original Orange Pro, uh, Platoon Cucumber experiment proves this. Not only this, but they also bounced back a few days after Penguin 2. I suspect Panda bubbled them up, and I have some data to show that. But it would take time to analyze that data and compare it. It's whether these links look natural or not, I think, that Google is looking for, and not necessarily the type of link or the type of site, other than whether or not it's a trusted site or not, or whether these links are on trusted sites. If you're worried about the trust that Google puts into your site, you can always use high authority buffer sites. Very, very high authority sites like Facebook or YouTube, sites like this for buffer sites that can link back to your site or use social signals to rank your site. These are some of the more advanced ways that people are looking at and look like they're going to be good moving forward. Google is certainly talking about them in authorship and things like this quite a bit. So I hope that helps you try and fight off the, the terrible penguin monster. Definitely look for the different kinds of keywords that you've over-optimized on page and over-optimized perhaps in your backlink text. And to clean that up, what you need to do is you need to delete the links, disavow the links, or delete the pages that they point to. And this will help and has helped numerous people recover from Penguin. So I hope that helps you out, and good luck in the SERPs.